Hi boys and girls and welcome to math. We've been talking a lot about telling time. You know, we start school every day at 9 a.m. That means the, the, uh, excuse me, the minute hand, the long hand is at the 12, and the hour hand, the short hand, is pointing at the nine. So this is 9 a.m. At night, I go to bed at around 10 p.m. 10, and then you got the 12. Most of us eat lunch around 12. Many of us have dinner around six. All of the times we're telling are to the hour. So that means that if I were looking at a digital clock, zero, zero, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, and six o'clock are the two that I mentioned. We've spent a little time with that. So today, you're going to practice those by looking at the time written out like this and drawing a line to the clock. This says 12 o'clock. So I need to find the one that is 12 o'clock. Now it does not have the hour hand, it just has the minute hand. So which one is 12 o'clock? This one right here. Now I need to find the one pointing to one o'clock. This one right here, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, eleven o'clock, eight o'clock, seven o'clock, ten o'clock. And nine o'clock. So I went down and I did all of those. Now I'm going to practice with a game. Spin the clock. With this is oh, where did my little guy go? I'm spinning. So I was spinning the clock, and let's say it lands on nine. If it lands on nine, I need to cover nine o'clock. Spin it, lands on two. Put a penny on two o'clock. I wanna keep spinning until I've covered the whole board. We're just looking at the hour today, the hour. You also have a mixed review. You have to look, is that a subtraction minus or is it an addition plus sign? This is a really good sheet because it's going to really make you pay attention to your symbols to know is it an adding problem or is it a subtracting problem. So go ahead and complete math 14.6 and I will see you later.